When I wake up in the morning, the first thing I have to do is put on my prosthetic. I don't know, it's just that, that re-poking me in the rear saying, yeah, your life is different now, but you've got to continue on. I know that I'm missing a leg, and I, when I look down, I can tell it. But as soon as I swing my leg off the bed and I put on that prosthetic device and stand up, I'm just like every other person who gets up in the morning and goes to work and plays their part in society. I know we're looking at dexterity, but we just want to relax and try to do it as fluid as possible. I was the most severe of the ones that had lived. The blast itself killed two of my best friends. Just constantly think about them and always just try to show them that I'm being tough for them. I got the second chance that they didn't, and I'm going to make them proud. Warriors in transition, soldiers wounded, ill, and injured who require six months or more of complex medical management. The, the anger, depression, anything like that regarding your wounds, it, it's not going to change anything. It's just useless emotion. It doesn't help you, and so I tried always to think positively about it. You may have to take a hard look at that and say, if I want to do this, what are the steps I need to to go through in order to make that happen. The past 10 years in Iraq and Afghanistan have been an era of persistent conflict for the United States. Multiple deployments, a high operational tempo, and advances in battlefield medicine have increased the Army's need for rehabilitative care and medical management. The Army asks a lot of these soldiers, and they always deliver. And so the Army owes these wounded, ill and injured soldiers the manpower, the resources, and the commitment of purpose to heal. And that is what Warrior Transition Units are all about. It's definitely the Warrior Transition Command is part of the Army effort to make sweeping organizational and cultural shifts in how the Army cares for its wounded, ill, and injured soldiers, essentially to change operational Army culture. No slow impact. The WTU is like no other unit in the Army. It's, it's brand new and it's focused on healing and transitioning soldiers. Thanks for calling this paper, my happy. Warrior Transition right. Units okay, are the backbone of the program. While they resemble a line unit with a professional cadre and integrated processes that build on Army cohesion and teamwork, up to three semester hours. its singular mission is to provide comprehensive outpatient management that allows warriors to successfully heal and transition. Being in a quote-unquote regular unit, a fighting unit, a combat engineer unit, being in a route clearance patrol, um, your mission is very clear drive down the road looking for stuff that's gonna blow up. After I got hurt and I became a member of the WTU, um, the transition mission to me was completely unclear. At first I felt like a burden on the Army, but once I realized that as a WT, I had a clear mission, and that mission was to get better, heal. I didn't feel like a burden anymore. This is my job now. Just wanna make sure a team of caregivers is appointed to every warrior in transition. This triad of care consists of a primary care manager, a nurse case manager, and the squad leader. All three work closely as a team with the soldier, as well as with their family. So how's everything going today, Sergeant Garcia? Pretty good. My squad leader, he's really involved in taking care of any kind of issues I have, whether it be I've had issues with awards or finances, and he'll take that stuff off my plate because he wants me to just focus on recovery. My wife was saying that you're having a couple problems with some of the... It's not just a medical place. It's, um, you know, somewhere where they're, they're planning out their future. They've got to know where they're going to be going from here. The Army is, is not saying um, you're here by yourself. I mean, that is one of the most impressive things about the Army. There are not too many organizations in this world that you can be a part of, and when you get hurt or seriously wounded or ill, 
that are going to give you time and focus on getting yourself better. We're going to talk about the goals that, uh, that you've already set up and some of the specific sub-actions that we could take to get you there. The soldiers that come to us are probably very concerned with what's going on, what's next in their future. The Comprehensive Transition Plan puts a framework around that and is, is really a, a pathway through the disorder. Your physical sub goals. It's everybody coming together, his nurse case manager, his social worker, and his squatler. It's everybody together in the same room and discussing just him. I'd like to be able to throw a tight spiral for 40 yards, constantly working on that in OT and as far as physical therapy also. But it's something I do after uh, work. All right, Ken, here we go. Dry on it. Now, the power of having that team focused on helping soldiers transition is that it, it helps them not only heal, but then allows them to really move towards the future that they select for themselves. The Comprehensive Transition Plan is a way of individualizing the care of each soldier. It's a plan developed by you that becomes your personal roadmap for recovery and transition. I recognized that I probably would not be able to do my old job anymore. And so I was very interested in medical. Um, and specifically, I kind of wanted to go to do PA school. The comprehensive plan um, gave us a framework to where we could sit down and say, OK, in a year, this is where we'd like our lives to be. Um, and this is how long we think it's probably going to take us to get there. So what we've done is we've we put them on the board today to kind of provide a roadmap: physical, emotional, spiritual, social, family, and career. The CTP process focuses on six aspects of life and helps you set goals based on your abilities. What have you guys kind of discussed as far as your um, military career goes? Right now, um, I'm looking at a branch transfer. I'd like to transfer to medical branch. So your focus is a branch transfer, and in order to um, prepare for that, you're doing some college courses. I'm expecting to come out of this and go do something that I kind of thought about every once in a while, but I never really laid any solid plans to go do. So the drama was very negative, but overall, I think we're going to come out of it um, in a better position in life. Because the CTP process is automated, soldiers, nurse case managers, and primary care managers all input data. It's a process that holds everyone accountable. This particular soldier is having trouble with And pain. because data is collected from WTUs nationwide, the Army can evaluate what works and make adjustments as needed. This commitment to Army warriors and their families is a top priority for the Army. We have committed the money and the resources to ensure that warriors and their families can heal in the WTU and learn the skills and the tools so they can go on and lead productive lives. They will provide you the resources you need to heal yourself and start trying to move on with your life. But if you don't make the effort, if you don't put forth the effort to take advantage of those resources, to come out and say, this is what I want to do next, then you're never going to advance. When I first got hurt, I was licking my wounds, feeling sorry for myself, thinking, hey, you know, I, the Army owes me something, the world owes me something now, which completely was not true. Yeah, almost like surfing. Speed it up, speed it up. I think in your own world, within whatever you can control, which is just inside of yourself, I think you have to make that conscious effort every single day to say, I am not going to let this get me. I live life happily. So this is my new life. I'm missing an arm. I'm just uh, lucky to still be alive. That's that's the way I look at it. I can't stick. It doesn't mean that I can't do anything a normal person can do. It's just a little tougher for me to do it. I have to be smart to figure out a way around it. I'm going to beat you, Dad. It's just because a person is 100% doesn't mean his 100% is better than my 75 my 75% is better than most guys, 100%, and that's the way I live my life.